the top 10 gayest moments of Blue Lock needed a sequel because you guys made it abundantly aware that I missed a lot of the gay moments. So here we go, number one. Well, we always talk about the manga here, so let's go somewhere else first. One of the gayest moments in Blue Lock is a canon event involving you guys. Look at the most searched word on the Blue Lock subreddit stats. Why are you Bathshebas searching up Chiggery on the Reddit? You could have gone anywhere else. Don't taint the innocent and clean website that is Reddit. That's it. D tier gay moment for disgusting. Speaking of disgusting, the slobbery tongued man Rin is making it on the list along with Zlaki Asagi. Let's put up the panels of them flirting, shall we? You just have to look at me. Rin! Rin! Feel it! Look at me! The person I want to be beside right now! It's you, Rin! Oh. Isagi! Look at me! Rin! Toshi Sai wasn't the only one. Fuck. Who predicted my best play? Anyways, Rin gets tossed aside like a used <laughs> later, so B tier for bitch. Another duo is Hyori and Isagi. Where obviously Hyori is the sub in the relationship, being the petite little man he is, or bussy, if I may. He often gets looked at by other men. Case in point, Karasu. He specifically calls Hyori's left leg erotic. Hyori is irrelevant to me, but his left leg is not. So I'm gonna cut it off and rank it in A tier for A good leg. But how can we talk about duos without mentioning Ryo and Nagi? So we've got this panel after Nagi scores a goal and, and Ryo decides to just start riding on the Nagi mobile as he walks. They also have this panel where Ryo is looking at Nagi like he's about to devour his massive, veined up footballer ego. This guy called Itoshi size leg hair says, Rayo isn't that sus. You sure about that? Rayo looks at Nagi the same way I do when I see dogs. Hungrily. A tier or else the shippers will eat me like how I eat dog. Number five, the spin-off series. I haven't read it because honestly, I don't really like Nagi that much. Or Rayo, in fact. I'm more on the Isagi side. I really don't know too much, but it's cute that these canonically gay lovers have a spin-off. So C tier for cutie patooties. And one more duo. It's Bachira and his schizophrenia. And in this panel, we can see him genuinely affirming his oozing gay love for his partner, Gay Sagi. Why is he so seriously affirming his love like he's about to die? Isagi, my partner, I love you. I'm in love with you. I'd still love you if my testicles were cut off, Isagi. Oh my god, I love you. B for Bachira. And I'll put it there twice. One for each personality. There's also the issue of Bachira's nakedness. First of all, this might just be a fan service, because I don't even know if it's in the manga. Because there are no manga fades I can find of naked Bachira online for some reason. Can someone confirm this? Anyways, for some reason, this is the most normal thing ever. I've never seen someone think that this was even remotely bizarre. In fact, he's so comfortable with it that it's not even gay anymore. It's the equivalent of kissing and the homies good night so i'll give this one a d tier for dicks out speaking of look at this absolute dickhead so he goes yeah yeah blue lock is about the gaze we made along the way and then now hug and kiss each other who even tells people to go on you guys kiss each other now i'm sure you'll get a thrill out of it like ego is becoming a sex dungeon master now What's worse is that Ego actually represents the author, and you can find out why from this video I made on the author, revealing the secrets of his life. Anyways, another D tier for dickhead. Speaking of the author being gay, Shido, in a straight jacket, is the author being gay. Why oh why did he feel the need to draw a minor with a muzzle, vein dick on his face, in a straight jacket like he's some sort of feral horn dog? A tier, because it's ahaha. Ah, funny and finally on the topic of shido we have a returning champion for the s tier gayest moment and objectively gayest person and couple in this series shido and sai in this panel we see an exquisite display of zest not only are they practically fucking already on this first panel with some hints of violence enjoyment but sai literally says hands off until then to shido then let me ask you, what happens then? What happens when the until then is reached? Someone please tell what happens. I'm excited for the spin-off series of these two. Just someone tell me when it comes out on Enhen Time. And that's the end of the video. Share this with your friends so that if we reach 10 hey. views, I'll do a part three because Blue Lock is an inexhaustible, abundant supply of funny gay. Or is it? Either way, find out next time. While you're waiting for the video, why not check out the top left video that YouTube recommends with this other video I recently posted? Or you can check out the first part if you haven't yet. I hope I see you again. Until then, I love Blue Lock Men.